want you guys today I'm going to show you how to completely remove software that won't uninstall. A lot of people have installed software in the past and to find out that the software is not listed in all apps on Windows 11 or Windows 10 and they want to uninstall it and yet they can't find a way to uninstall it from their computer. Today I'm going to show you how we can go about uninstalling all of the remnants and all of the program from your computer now when you do a search for the program the program might come up in the search box but when you go to add and remove programs the program is not listed there and it doesn't allow you to uninstall it maybe you go into an area where you actually find the program where it's listed but there is no uninstaller with that program and you want to remove it from your computer and all of the remnants that are left behind inside the registry i'm going to show you a way of doing it but it is a pretty tricky process and you have to go through meticulously and delete every single component that is related to that program and i'll show you step by step on how to do it in this video so you can see it's not found inside program files or program files x86 make sure you're showing hidden files folders and drives like i'm showing you right here that way we can find any hidden folders to find where the program is located. So show hidden file folders and drives need to be uh, on. And also we're going to uncheck the hired extensions. Once we've done that, we're going to go to the location of that program. If you have a shortcut on your desktop, you can always look for the path of where that program is located. I know mine is located in this program data right here. If we go inside here and then we go inside and look for the actual program you can see it's listed right here so inside here you can click on this and go inside and you might find there is some uh, files inside here related to that program now it doesn't matter what program it is it can be any program that is on your system maybe you can't find the uninstaller for it and if that is the case and you want to remove it then this video will help you remove that from your computer because there is a lot of files that are attached to programs and you need to make sure we remove all of those from the computer now there is an uninstaller right here and you can see it's related to uh, this program and you can see there is an actual batch file right here and i can open this up and it says task kill here and this is basically gonna uh, task kill these particular uh, services and programs so what we're going to do here is if you run this on here it's not going to remove any of these programs so what we're going to do is we're going to go to revo uninstaller and there is an actual pro version it's no good using the free version because the free version will not detect the program because it's not listed in add and remove programs so you're not going to be able to uninstall it with the free version instead we're going to use the trial version of the pro version here and we'll install this and see whether there's a way of removing it. So I'm just going to double click on the executable file that I downloaded from their website and we can go ahead and install this. So you want to try and use an uninstaller to uninstall the program. Sometimes the manufacturer website offer an uninstaller program that is separate to the program itself. So always check there as well. But we're going to go ahead and install Revo Uninstaller Pro and once you get here, you'll see the program is not listed inside here. So you may be thinking, well, how can we remove it by using this program? Well, you can still use the logs database right down here. I'm going to click on logs database right here. And we're going to do a search. So you'll need to do a search for the application that you're trying to uninstall. There should be a good database of these right here. And we're going to do a search for this one here. And hopefully we can remove it now you can see the program version is right listed there and that's an older version compared to the one that i'm trying to remove but i will try it anyway but try to remove it by using this method first and see if it works so highlight it and then click on uninstall and once we do this another little box will pop up here and this should help to uninstall the program so let's go ahead and say yes here we want to uninstall the selected program and it's going to go ahead and create a full registry backup and it's also going to create a system restore point which is important because if you're going to be messing around with the computer you want to make sure you create a restore point and registry backup like we've done here now we're going to go to advanced uninstall 
and we're going to do a search here and it's doing a search for this particular location so i'm going to select this select all and we're going to go ahead and delete these files now they might not be listed there but i can see that it said they are listed there so i'm going to remove them next we're going to go to custom uninstall here and we're just going to do a search inside here and i can see some areas right here so you can see they are all related to this now i'm not too sure whether this is going to do the job because of uh, the program we have installed is newer than the one that they've listed here and things might have changed but it might work for you so i'll go through the full process so what we need to do here is we need to select all of these files to remove them from the computer so let's go ahead and do that right here so i'm going to go down to the bottom here and we're going to go select all to select all of the registry keys here and then we're going to click on uninstall and say yes here and that's going to go ahead and uninstall them and what we want to do here now is click finished so we've basically tried to use this program to uninstall the program from its database and you can see here if, if you've been successful for this, the program would have been uninstalled on your computer. So I'm going to quickly go to the programs uh, data folder again. I'm going to go inside here. You can see it's that translucent folder. That's because it's an hidden folder. And you can see the folder is still there. And there is still data inside here. But it may have stopped some of the services running on the computer, which means that we could just basically delete this folder if it's been removed. But I'll do some further checks in a second. I just want to quickly check this actual batch file up here to see whether these areas have been uh, stopped. So I'm just going to quickly go and look for that file. And I can see it there. It's called uninstall, uh, uninstall underscore clean uh, bat. So let's go ahead. And what I'll do is I'll quickly run this to see if Revo uninstaller was successful at removing the application so i'm just going to double click on this and i can already see that there's errors here and it's saying it's not found so maybe uh, revo has done some form of good by removing certain services and stuff like that but it hasn't removed this folder which i could just manually delete i'm going to leave it there for now because i want to show you some other steps that you can take if you're still having difficulty trying to find files and remnants that are left behind from programs and things like that so what we'll do next is i'm going to close this off here and we're going to need another piece of software called everything and everything is a really great tool for searching for files and folders on your system and i've showed you this before but it is quite a good useful program to have so what we're going to do is download and install the installer for 64-bit systems because i'm on windows 11 if you're on a 32-bit system, just download the 32-bit version. So I'm just going to basically install this right here. And then once this is installed, I'm going to open it up. And we're going to start doing some searches for those particular folders and files that are related to that program. So let's start off with disk copy here for my search. Yours will be something different for your program. So for instance, if your program was called AVG, you would search for AVG on any sort of references that are related to AVG software. You would do a search for them. And you can already see that it's brought up a load of different types of folders here. And that is the one right here. I'm just going to copy that name there. And what we're going to do is start deleting a lot of this stuff because it's all related to that particular program and we don't want it on the system. So it's going to allow me to delete all of this stuff. There we go. And that's all now gone. And we can skip the rest here because I can take care of this in a second. There we go. And what we want to do next is I'm just going to do another search here for the actual program itself because I did a search for that particular term. And now I'm going to search for another term, which is this one right here. I'm just going to go back here a little bit and just search for the first name. Let me just go back one more. There we go. And there's a bunch of files here. Some of them are in the recycle bin. So I can see a couple of references there that I need to get rid of. So let me go ahead and do those. And again, just be very careful in what you're deleting here because you want to only delete the stuff that is 
to do with the actual application that you're trying to remove. Now, it's also important that we run a cleaner on the system because that's going to remove all the temporary files and all of the other stuff that could be hiding in those locations. So what I'm going to do here is go to our PC and just use the cleanup tool. You can use whatever one you want, uh, you know, bleach bit or any of those other programs that you like to use. Use anything you like, but I'm just going to use the built in tool here and use this cleanup because it's uh, everyone's going to have this on their system. So I'm going to go ahead here and do a search and we're going to remove any of that sort of stuff from the PC. Now you can use temporary internet files and stuff like that. I'm not too interested in that. I'm just interested in the temporary files for this particular system and also the recycle bin. So we're going to go ahead and remove all of those. Once you're happy with that, we can go ahead and I can now click on clean up system files as well right here. Let's click OK here as well. And this will open up again and it's going to go ahead and do that and open up this program. And what we're looking for here is the temp files. So I'm just going to, there we go. So I just need to do the temporary files and I need to do the recycle bin as well. I'm just going to get rid of that Windows installation files as well. So let me go ahead and do that right here. And then once I've made my selection, I will click OK and this will go ahead and clean up the PC. So let me just quickly go ahead and check the more options. That's fine. OK, so let's click OK and delete files. And that now go off and empty and delete all of those files for us. Now hopefully that will remove any sort of remnants of files that are left in there. And now I'm going to open up everything again. Open file in path and it will take us to that location on Windows. And then we have that file there. I can see it right there. So I'm going to delete it in this location right here. For some reason it's not letting me delete that. So I'm just going to empty this area out and just delete that right here. So I can delete all this stuff if I want to, but that's really not necessary at this time. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to close that off and you can remove all of this stuff if you wanted to. All of this stuff is related, but it's in the recycle bin area. But if you wanted to delete all that stuff, you can do by just highlighting it and deleting it if you wanted to remove all of this stuff. And all you need to do is just highlight whatever you want to remove and hit the delete key. It's that simple. Let me just do another search for the other term that is related to that program and we'll just delete any of that stuff there. So I'm going to do a quick search for now disk copy right here. And you can see there's some references right here. They're all in the recycle bin. So I'm just going to highlight all of these and delete those as well. And that's now all gone. So that is now clear, but there's still quite a few registry keys that we need to get rid of. And I'm just going to show you how I go through the registry and remove a lot of the content inside there to make sure all of the traces have been removed so open up your registry editor by typing reg edit and make sure it's selected on computer right here we already have a backup of our registry and we also have a system restore point i'm going to go to edit here and find and we're going to type out the name of the program that we're looking for here and do find next and hopefully you'll see it's going to find stuff now once it's found whatever it's found you want to delete these entries this is the risky part so be very careful with what you're deleting make sure it's a reference to what you're trying to delete now once you push f3 on your keyboard it's going to find next so if you go into edit and find next you can see here it's going to find next and it's related to that program i can then delete that entry i'm going to do the same thing again and you don't need to keep going into edit. You can just push F3 if you want to. But I'm just showing you on the screen so you can see. And these are references to that program. So I want to remove all of these. Just be careful on what you're deleting here. This is the risky part. You need to know what you're doing here. But again, this is just another entry here for that particular program. So we're going to delete that as well. And all you need to do here is just keep repeating the process. Press F3 every single time. Uh, once you've deleted them and you'll see they will come up here and we are now going to start to just go through here and press F3 and delete all of the entries. They will be highlighted already for you and you just hit delete. So let me go ahead and keep going here and I'm going to work my way through 
and we'll get to the end and hopefully once we've done this it will say it can't find any more entries and that means we've removed them all so what i'm going to do here is i'll speed this process up so i don't bore you to tears of going through because as you can imagine there's quite a few that are left behind here so i'm going to go through and do this and once we've done this highlight computer and do one more search once it says it can't find any more and you should see that all of the entries have been removed using the terms that you're searching for. So I'm going to search for the program's name itself. It's searching right through the registry because we're making sure we've selected computer here. And we should see there is no more entries coming back once it's finished its searching. So I've got two terms that I want to search for here. And you can see there's no entries left. I'm going to go one more. And we're going to quickly change this and I'm going to type this copy here as well, just like so, and do a search for that to see if there's any more entries left for that particular term as well. So we'll just let that do its search right the way through the registry and see if they've all been removed. And hopefully you won't have any uh, entries found. And if you do, then just make sure they are corresponding with the program that you're trying to remove from the system. And once this is done, the system should be free and clean of that application. And you can see there's no more entries left available. And that is pretty much it. You should now have no entries and no programs left on the system. And if you do a quick search with everything here, you will see that there is nothing left on the computer for those terms that you're searching for for that program. Everything has been removed. There's no more traces of that app left behind on the PC. Anyway, I hope that helps you out. If you've got a program on your system that is very difficult to remove or you can't uninstall it, then you can use this method and you should be able to completely remove that from the computer and you should be free of that program once you use this method. Now, you only need to use this method if that program is not able to be uninstalled in a normal way. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. If you're tier one, tier two or tier three, I really do appreciate the support. Anyway, with that said, I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now. <music>